welcome to Pop Stars with me, Yemi. We're going to start in just a minute. Have a little listen to this song. This is what we're going to be singing today. and all the beautiful things around us. So before we start kind of embracing and exploring that through song and through singing exercises, I just want to make sure we all, I don't know if you've done this before, if you have then you'll know, but if not, a few things to remember when you're singing. So you want to have a nice good posture, you don't want to be slouching because your voice won't come out very well, you don't want to be sitting up too strained because if you strain your neck the sound will come out weird. So make sure you're comfortable, sat or stood, Make sure you've got some water with you. And before we start singing, we're going to do a bit of breathing exercise. So, a nice easy exercise to do is a sigh. Sometimes we all need a good sigh, don't we, just to let everything out. So breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth, we're just going to do a few nice deep sighs and get nice and calm and focused. Okay. <sighs> a couple more times. Ah, you'll notice that you've got your own uh, natural note that you sigh in. Mine's, um, I couldn't say what it was, but it's definitely a natural note for me. Maybe I'll try a higher sigh. Ah. Okay, let's try a couple of yawning. So if we do a bit of yawning, we'll be able to stretch our mouths out, ready to do some singing, and we'll go... Okay, let's do that a couple more times then. Ready? with some different sounds. How about a sound you make when you're excited? So, how about with the letter E? E! Do you want to do that a couple more times? Let's do it. E! Ooh, so excited. <laughs> excited to learn the song today, I'm sure. Let's do it with the sound R. Ah, so maybe R is more like you're feeling shocked. <gasps> Ah, ah, a couple more times. If you've got any ideas, just drop them in the comments box and we'll see if we can do those as well. Okay, well, let's do our shot sound again. Ah, <laughs> shocked and surprised, I think that was. So we did four things there. We did sighing. Ah, we did yawning. We did an exciting sound. And we did a shock sound. Ah! These are all sounds, and believe it or not, you've already started to get yourself ready for singing. So, in the theme of the week, because tomorrow is Earth Day, we're going to be thinking about animal sounds. 
So, what is your favourite animal? Can anyone tell me what their favourite animal is out there? I'll give you a few seconds. I know what mine is, and I know what sound it is. It makes a uh, very similar sound to cats, but it's actually a cheetah. Cheetahs make a growling sound, and sometimes they make a really high-pitched sound as well. I don't know if you know. So they'd be like, eh, eh. It's really strange. You'd never think it would come out of such a big, ferocious, uh, fast animal, but they do make very high-pitched sounds, and they make growl sounds as well. Oh, so Jadira's favourite animal is cats. What what sounds do they make? I think we all know a little bit about cats. So, meow. Sometimes it's a little less um, high. It can be like a meow, meow. If it's a tomcat. Um, what other animals have we got? So, actually, let's play a quick game. I'm going to play some animal sounds. And I'm going to give you a few seconds after I play each one to guess it. If you can guess it, great. If you don't know, I'll tell you what it is and we're learning at the same time. Start not too hard, so... So, what noise was that, do you think? I'll give you a clue. You might find them around the house. And maybe I just said it. <laughs> what animal sound was that, if you could hear it? Any suggestions? <laughs> We've got a, another favourite animal, unicorn. Okay, so a unicorn sound. That's going to be really similar to a horse's sound, I imagine, but maybe maybe nicer, a little bit more bright and uh, funny and whatever kind of things that unicorns are, I imagine all positive things. So let's try and do a unicorn sound. Ooh. Bit of a shake of the head to get that to get that feeling of being like a horse. Ooh. Oh, I could feel that one a little bit like shaking my cheeks. Feels quite nice. I feel quite loose doing that sound. Let's see if we've got any other sounds I can find. Ooh, about this one. That was a very quiet, very high pitched sound. It's a sound of something that we might have seen a couple of weeks ago when it was Easter. <laughs> We've got no guesses, but I'm going to tell you the answer. It's a chick sound. So it's like a ee, ee. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many chicks I've heard, but that one sounded a bit like that, I think. Let's try another one, a completely different animal. Mm. Ooh. Can you hear that? Any ideas what animal that could be? They like to hang in trees. They like to eat bananas. And a lot of things really, not just bananas. I'll make the sound again. <laughs> it was like a... <laughs> it was a monkey sound. Don't worry if you didn't catch all of those and you've just joined. We're just trying to experiment a little bit with our voices and using animals as the theme. Right. I think we should do some scales. So I'm going to use my handy keyboard here. You should be able to hear it, but as long as you can hear me, that's the most important thing. I'm keeping the animals in mind. Ah, monkey, yes, well done. Thanks for guessing, monkey. <laughs> keeping the animal theme in mind, I'm gonna do some scales, so. But we're gonna do, the first one's gonna be raw, all right? So it's gonna go raw, raw. Can you try that? Do it one more time. Roar. All right, let's see. 
let's move up the scale, still with the roar. So it will sound like this. Roar. Let's do it again. Roar. Up to E. mouth when you're doing that so it ends up coming out quite loud which is good it's good to learn how to project with different sounds F roar. and again roar. and finally up to G getting a bit higher One more time. Roar. Lovely. Okay, so let's do a, another one. Let's do moo. It's a completely different sound that we do with our lips there. Moo. Starting on C. So I'll do it first. Repeat after me and we'll do it again. Moo, 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 moo. Okay, try that again. Moo, 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 moo. Okay, going up the scale now. Moo, 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 And again. everyone for joining in with the scales if you did if you didn't that's fine at least you know what to do if you ever want to warm up and do some vocals on your own but we've only got a little bit of time so we've got to move on a little bit quickly let's see if we can do a couple of tongue twisters and then we'll be ready to get to the lyrics and get to the song so <clears throat> a really common tongue tongue twister <laughs> that we all probably know is how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Now, a woodchuck is a type of... It's a type of bird. So, it fits in with our theme as well, and it's a tongue twister, and it will help us warm up. So let's try it. We'll do it starting slow. We'll do it a good few times. So by the end of the by the end of the ten times we do it, we'll probably get in a bit of a tongue twist, but that's fine, it's all part of the fun. So how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> okay, well done. I think I didn't do too badly there. I hope you guys found that quite fun. Let's do another one. So we're going to do Butterflies Flutter By. And we're going to sing this one. So it's Butterflies Flutter By. And it's Butterflies flutter by. So we'll start nice and slow. And we'll do it a few more times, see if we can get your tongue twisted. Butterflies flutter by. Butterflies flutter by. Butterflies flutter by. Butterflies flutter by. Butterflies, butterfly, butterflies, butterfly, butterflies, butterfly. <laughs> oh, we got myself there. I think we got ourselves um, tongue twisted. <laughs> okay, great. So we're ready to do a bit of singing. I'm going to grab my water. I hope you've got some. 
and we're going to do a song about the beautiful world and the wonder of the world around us and it's by a famous jazz musician called Louis Armstrong. Any guesses of what the song's called? I'll give you a moment while I get our lyrics up. If you ever heard the song before, if you haven't, after, listen and hear, because he has quite an interesting growl when he sings as well. Um, so see if you can spot that once you've had a chance to listen to this after this session. So the song is Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. And I'm gonna sing it to you guys first. And once I'm done singing it, we'll go through the lyrics a couple of times and we'll see if we can sing it together. If not, just enjoy, sit and watch, um, and I'll sing it for you. Watch my face as I'm singing this song. We'll see if you guys can do it too. song. Can anyone tell me some of the kind of key ideas in the song? So they're talking about how lovely the trees are, they're talking about people and how lovely it is to see other people and they're talking about how wonderful the world is. Let's speak through the lyrics then. So it goes, I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Okay, so that was verse one. Verse two, I see skies of blue 
and clouds of white. Bright blessed day, the dark sacred night. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. So, the colours of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? And they're really saying, I love you. So today we're just going to do those three verses. And what we'll do is for the last verse, we'll just repeat the first one. We don't want there to be too many lyrics for everyone to try and learn or remember. And the main thing is that you get the melody. It repeats a couple of times and then the bridge section is slightly different. Okay, so we're going to do this, first of all, a cappella. I'm just going to sing it nice and slowly and hopefully you'll start to catch on. Oh, Jadira knows this song. Well done, Jadira. It's a classic. <laughs> so... I see trees of green, red roses too, I see them bloom for me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. And the second verse. I see skies of blue and clouds of white, the bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. In the bridge section. The colours of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people passing by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? And they're really saying, I love you. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you're starting to catch on to melody. You're starting to catch on to the lyrics. And what I'd love for us to do is try it one full time together, but I'm going to sing very quietly so that you can hear the backing instrumental and you can try it a bit on your own. And then we'll do it one more time and we'll sing to our heart's content. We'll sing our hearts out, chests open and leave feeling on a high. So I'm singing quietly so you guys sing as loudly as you can. So 
Okay, excellent work. Thank you to everyone who's watching and listening. I hope you've had some fun today. Um, I'll give you guys a few more seconds to get yourselves ready to sing one final time. So remember, deep breath before you say the first word of every sentence so you've got enough breath to carry it through. And if you're feeling really, really creative at home and looking for things to do, what if you drew a picture of the things that Louis Armstrong is singing about in this song? So we've got things like blue skies and we've got green trees. So if you fancy it, maybe do a painting, a colouring, a drawing and send it in to us at Z Arts so we can see it and we can share it with you um, and share it with anyone else. And we can see what images that this song can create. But for now, we're going to do one final sing-along and everyone at home, sing to your heart's content, no matter if anyone's watching, because what does it matter? I'm doing it too. Same time and speak to you soon. Bye.